chucking it down with rain today. Um, I think it's the rain all day, so it is. But the uh, panel looks all right. I mean, it's when you touch it, it you totally the dry, but it's, it's kind of clammy. Um, I left the heater on for a couple hours. Put some water on it. Doesn't matter. It's dry anyway. Before, just before I went to bed, I turned the heating off in here. There's a few little blemishes, but it's nothing bad. That's just, you know, from little stuff in the plastic, there's little gouges and things like that. But, you know, it is what it is. It's it's not a show bike. It's, it's a workhorse. I think this is actually okay. I've got I've got another GoPro here in my pocket. I'll show you it. There's water running down here, look, I'm gonna get a wee cup for that. Put the water in there. It's running down here and it's pulling them down here. <coughs> I wonder if I can run it down the back. Onto the floor instead of onto this. So let's see what I can do there. I'm sure I can figure something out. Space it out a little bit. Run down the back now instead of running onto the bench. That's fine. Okay, what was I doing? Right, just wanted to show you this. Get the torch involved. Have a look at it. just got a bit of condensation on it, it's actually okay. That's really nice. What's that there? That is actually, but that'll polish that is a little bit of a run. It didn't sink back as much as I thought. The clears just went a wee bit milky there. It's not, it's kind of half run. If you know what I mean? It's just starting. If it went any heavier with the paint there, the lacquer, it would have run. Okay, let's get the other GoPro on the go. Got a little espresso here. Oh, hit me up. Actually, I'm not too bad. I'm quite good at getting up. I'm up very early in the morning anyway. I'm usually up at half five for start for seven. Get used to getting up, don't you? It looks really nice, the will polish up lovely. There's no decal on it, there's no decal, no stickers. Oh, look at this. Okay, there you go. See, I, see if you can see it properly. If you can see what I can see. Excuse me. See the wee divot out there. It's never going to be perfect. There's a look. There's that little. I think that's a crack. I don't know what that is there. I sanded that for a wee while. See if I can see it properly and get a bit of light onto it. See that? I should. Is the heat on? Yeah. I'll put the heat. Put the heating up a little bit. I kind of don't, I don't want to touch it for a little while. Um, I suppose if I whacked the heating right up, and left it for a few hours, but even then, it looks alright. I'll show you that we run if I can. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. So look. I'll get the torch. Oh. Kind of touch it with my hand a little bit. There it is. It's a tiny little blemish. Whether that'll polish out or not, I don't know. 
it is a little tiny one in it, I went a wee bit too heavy, I wasn't confident with that coat, I didn't think about it, never mind, it's okay, why couldn't it be underneath there, you know, it has to be right at that point, but anyway it'll be interesting to see if I can get rid of it. Might go for a walk about today. Just go for a walk. Take the bike somewhere and go for a walk. Get out and about, even though it's going to chuck it down. It's going to be really heavy rain in a couple hours, according to the forecast. So. Typical, I'll wash the, all the salt off the bike anyway. That's the result, That's I'm pleased with that. Once it polishes up, I don't really want to polish it just now. It'll still be, it does feel like it's gone off. It does feel that way, there's no tackiness to it at all. Yeah. It doesn't feel soft, but it has only been... I did have stopped this last night. 10 o'clock, so it's only been 8 hours. I want to try and be patient with it so I don't wreck it. I notice if you clear coat it too quick, it kind of goes hazy. But it does come back with a bit of continuing to polish it. It does come back even if you start working with it. Um, after it's dry and not properly cured, it just it can work with it. I have noticed that. Uh, but it, you, you're disappointed at first because you think, oh, it's gone all it's gone all kind of milky, all hazy. But after a look at that one on my bike, the other other panel that I did, they did they did that one hazy and milky. But after a week. Once you start polishing it, I put some Mr. Sheen on it and it's come up beautiful. It's, it's like, it's better than, almost as good as uh, the Pro Painter I had done. With the, uh, that guy, uh, Lee Niven, out at Beeswing, he, he painted the tank. And it's, I don't know, it's not the same quality, but I don't think he, he used the metallic paint. This was a satin black. So. And a chap he asked me, I can't remember who is it, Damien? Now how many tins of paint would you use for this? One tin, what size is this? Let's find the size somewhere. This is a half a litre, so it's 500 millilitres that. I reckon you could get away, we could use so three coats, three coats of black on this. You be able to do both panels with that. I've got virtually done that. I've got a full tin there. Which lacquer have I got left? That's almost had it. That's almost had it. That lacquer's almost gone. Those lacquers are almost gone. So back to the question: How much would it take? One tin of lacquer. Uh, one tin. For both panels, one tin of black, one tin of lacquer, both panels. It's so that's like three coats on each panel of lacquer, or two. This is only had two. Oh, it needs two. There's nothing wrong with that. I wouldn't go any further than that. Definitely needs more than one. Let's say two coats of lacquer, clear coat. Definitely three coats of black. You need three coats, at least three coats. This has gone on, I always go on quite heavy. Put, get plenty of temperature, get it above. You want to be above 14, 50, you want to be about 15 degrees Celsius. I've found. Um, prepare it well. First coat, uh, I just bought a 300 mil can of the aluminium. Aluminium, because there's no point buying a, a big tin of this because you're only going to put one coat on. It's all I ever need to just put it. It just seems to go on better. 
if you put this on first, it, can, it just, just works. I don't know why, it just works. So you're looking at seven quid. Yeah, it's 21 pound for two panels, to respray two panels. Um, it's one coat of aluminium, three coats of black, two coats of lacquer, if you can get away with two coats. If it still looks a bit, if you haven't been uh, confident and just had, had a bit, of, a bit of courage with the lacquer. It does take a bit of courage if you think, my goodness, this is going on thick. Because I hovered here, I went over this far too many times and I've got to run. But you have to be kind of confident. Thick coats. First coat not so thick, second coat thicker. A good wet coat. Um, yeah, well that's it. I just went a wee bit heavy there. I, went, I knew I went over it too many times and it just like it just built up and just ran. It's on a tiny wee run. It'll come up that. Hopefully polish up. I leave it long enough. I, I might get some wet and dry on it. Two thousand wet and dry. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Lots and lots of hot water. Um, Two thousand wet and dry. And just sand it down a little bit got a, I've got a slater in here amazing really aren't they a little wood louse what's that after what's it doing a little, a little wood louse what are you doing where are you going? Go on. I think the guy's name is Damien anyway. So, it definitely works. Don't put any primer on it though. There's a lot of stuff from these guys anyway. You know who they are, I'm not going to say who they are. Because it just it cracked up on me. Just a bit of silver, prep it well, silver, aluminium, sorry. Three coats of black, two coats of lacquer, or three coats of lacquer, depends on how brave you are. But that's, that's fine. Yeah, pleased with that.